guys, what's up? It's Lauren from the YouTube channel Lore DIY, and today we're gonna be making these super fun and long-lasting hyacinth flowers. And I have a really, really bad tendency to kill all the plant life in my house. So these are absolutely perfect for me. So for this craft, you're gonna need two types of tape. So I have bright flowers and lime green, and then I also have my crafting knife, scissors, crafting mat, and I also have a dowel rod right here. So the first step is going to be to cover our dowel in some green, so to make it look super plant-life, I'm just gonna be using my lime green tape here. So I'm just gonna lay out my dowel and then just use that as a guide for how long my tape should be. And then I'm just gonna snip that off with my scissors. And then to make this super, super easy, we're just gonna pop our dowel right on the edge facing me and roll it up a little bit and you can just flatten out that first edge and roll it right up and it'll give you a super smooth little stem. So then the next step is to take your flower print. So I've got bright flowers right here and I'm going to be doing two sizes of petals. So I'm gonna make my small petals first. So I'm gonna measure out six inches with my bright flowers. And all we're gonna do is peel that right back up, fold it in half lengthwise, and then snip that right in half to make two small petals. So depending on how full you want your flower, you can go ahead and repeat that same step for as many as you need. I'm gonna go with 10. So I have some pre-cut petals right here, so we can just skip along to that step and start attaching them to our dowel. So the first piece we're gonna attach is actually going to be the center piece. So go ahead and take one of your petals, make a loop and pop that right on top there, one side of the tape on each side of the dowel, and then using a tiny piece of green tape, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that right around here so this is gonna form my very middle centerpiece. There we go, so we have our centerpiece now and then for the remaining small petals, we're gonna do the exact same thing, so form a loop and then instead of popping that on the middle, they're just gonna go all around the sides like this. So I'm gonna pop that on the side there and then using another piece of small lime green tape, just fasten that right on there. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing and just keep repeating this process. So make it into a loop, pop it on the opposite side this time, and then attach it with a little green piece. So then this time, because I have two on both sides here, I'm gonna kind of flip that around, make my loop, and then put it in the empty space right here and it's gonna make that a little bit lower. So go ahead and repeat that exact same process until your small petals are all done. So I have one already at that step there and I also decided to add a few lime green petals and just to throw in some bright colors there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the larger petals now. So same thing except we're gonna make our length eight inches this time and then peel it up, fold it in half lengthwise. I'm using my scissors, I'm just gonna snip that right in half. And now we have two larger petals and we're gonna attach them the exact same way we did with these smaller ones. So make a loop, pop it onto your empty space on one of the sides and then just use a small piece of lime green tape to attach that. So go ahead and repeat that process. So I am on my last long petal, so I'm gonna pop that right on and then using my lime green, attach that one last time. And if you want to just clean up that bottom there, you can use your extra green pieces and just kind of wrap those around the very bottom to give it a super clean green stem there. So there we go, so I am all done. And you know what, if this doesn't work out as a hyacinth, I think I'm ready for my baton debut here. So you can go ahead and shape those petals however you would like, and you can use a ton of different colors and make them look so cute and match pretty much any element in your bedroom or your living room. So some home decor tips for you right here. So if you guys enjoyed this craft, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're also subscribed to the Duck Brand channel for more super fun duct tape crafts.